Lakshmi about five luxury handbags from five fashion houses that are still worth buying, still worth investing in 2020 and going into 2021. I hope you'll find this video helpful in uh, making a wise decision on every luxury purchase you may have. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is an interesting topic because I want to share with you my thoughts on which luxury handbags from which fashion houses are still worth buying in 2020 and going into 2021. And I'm going to cover five different fashion houses. And these handbags you may be familiar with and uh, you may find it shockingly why I picked those handbags. But that's just my honest opinion and I want to share with you because I want to help you make the best purchase possible. So if this is your first time here, my name is Amy. I launch video once or twice a week all about luxury fashion, unboxing, product reviews. So if this is something you enjoy watching, I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the very first handbag that I highly recommend from Louis Vuitton. That is the most popular and hard to get purse. That is the Pichette Matisse. Oh my goodness. I mean, you guys know the story of this Pichet Matisse, how I got it, but I'm not going to get into that. The reason I want to start with this is because I believe for Louis Vuitton, this is the best, best handbag that you can get for your money and still very popular. And I believe Pichet Matisse is their permanent line. However, if you want to get this, it's kind of hard to get. So you really have to, you know, call in the, the 800 hotline or work with a sales associate to see if you can get this handbag. This handbag has been popular for the longest time. And I still believe this handbag is worth getting. It's never gonna go out of style and this handbag is very durable and you don't have to worry about anything of course if any vacation leather that's why I wrap it with the twirly I just don't want to you know um, get any water stand or anything like that so if you decide to get this handbag you have my approval because I still think this is worth every penny for Louis Vuitton because as you guys all know price I'll keep going up and by the time you watch this video, I believe Louis Vuitton already have another price increase. So you definitely, if you're thinking about getting this handbag, might as well get it sooner rather than later because I think this handbag still on the $2,000 mark. So uh, yeah, if this is on your wish list, I think you should act fast. So the next one I want to talk about is the Saint Laurent Kate Bell Bag. I got this two years ago, I think probably around two years ago. And I still think, I mean, you can call this belt bag or bump bag, but the reason I really love about this handbag is, first of all, YSL, I really love YSL. Second of all, this can treat it as belt bag or bump bag or even a crossbody bag. So with this uh, adjustable strap, I mean, I'm gonna show you guys, with this adjustable strap right here, can based on your body frame and you can, you know, just adjust the strap and be a cross body bag. And also this has different functionality. If you don't want to carry a card holder, inside has the card slots that you can uh, put your cards in and also have a zipper pocket in the front. So, you know, this little bag can treat it as bump bag, belt bag. Let's say if bump bag, belt bag is out of style, this can be a cross body bag with this leather finish. It's very durable. You can toss around, not to worry about rain or anything. And not to mention the price point, I believe this handbag, you can get it for uh, like a hundred, uh, 1,100 uh, around that price range. And I'm going to link it below if you want to check it out or you can even check out the secondary market. I think for the price range for a brand new bag, 1,100, you might as well go with brand new. You don't have to go to the secondary market. So I just thought this is such carefree handbag and it's a YSL. You see the logo in the front is beautiful. So I really think this is still worth getting. Forget about the bell bag, bum bag because this is, you treat it as a crossbody bag. I mean, it's beautiful and it's really uh, affordable, uh, a starter piece from YSL. Okay, moving on to the next one. Okay, 
you guys know how I feel about Chanel price increase and it's just going crazy and crazy because they keep going out price like twice or three times a year. However, I still think this particular bag still worth getting and you guys all know it. That is, I'm going to grab it. That is this Chanel Coco handle in, this is what, the mini size, right? Beautiful, beautiful beige color and with this uh, um, caviar leather. I mean, you don't have to worry about it. It's not lambskin, it's caviar leather. So uh, you also have this little pocket in the back and you also have a removable strap. So if you want to carry it as a top handle or if you want to treat it as a shoulder bag, I mean, I'm petite, so I was able to pull it off when I wear a cross body. But if you're taller, um, you probably don't want to do that because like for Sarah, you know, she can't really wear this for cross body. However, I just love this style because I just love any handbag with top handle. I just thought that, you know, when you take off the strap, you wear it as top handle, it really gives you a different vibe. I mean, it's just really, really elegant. So when you purchase a handbag, you just want to think about how many different ways you can wear this bag. I mean, you don't want to just settle that one way. And also, I don't like uh, any bags has a lot of uh, logos. But then I'm going to contradict myself. You're going to say, Amy, how about your appreciate material? by Louis Vuitton is our logos. Hey, remember, I re the reason I recommend that handbag because for the price point, because that is one of their signature bag, it's a statement piece by Louis Vuitton. That's why I recommend that one. However, I kind of slowly uh, just, you know, uh, cut down any of bags that has logos because I just thought that, you know what, if you want to have the bag in your collection uh, for many years to come, uh, be more versatile, you really need to choose a bag that without a lot of logos all over it. And like I said, with the price keep going up, I still think this handbag from Chanel is the best money you can get for an elegant handbag like this. So I highly, highly recommend Chanel Coco, even mini size or small size. I think now they came out with a, even a smaller size than a mini. I, I don't think that's practical. The smallest size I would go would be this one. So highly recommend this bag. So if you're still on the fence thinking about getting one, you really need to act fast because before you know it, there's another price increase probably early next year. Okay, moving on to the next one, which is Gucci. All right. I have some Gucci bags that I really love. However, for this particular Gucci bag, I really think it's worth every penny because this beautiful super mini, you can treat it as a clutch. You can treat it as a mini bag crossbody. So I, and for the price point under $1,000, I mean, you just cannot believe it. I mean, you can't, what, what can you get for like $1,000 for luxury handbag by Gucci? This is it, this is it. And if you're thinking about getting a clutch, but you don't want to carve out a lot of money, this, this is it. I mean, you can get a red, you can get a black, you can get a white, or you can get a, you know, different colors. It just, I mean, I just love this bag. And this, even though this handbag is called Super Mini, believe it or not, I was able to put in my mini pochette. I mean, shockingly, right? Mini pochette with my phone. So I really think this is the most affordable bag by Gucci for your money. So if you are thinking about, you want to just, you know, kind of buying something but not break the bank, this is, this is the one. Truly, this is the one. And especially, um, you know, we don't use clutch all the time. I mean, we only use clutch when we probably go on some kind of special event. You don't want to buy, by the way, let's talk about the YSL, the Uptown Clutch I used to have, I sold it. I mean, I used to think that's a really nice clutch option. However, that particular bag is an envelope, you know, style. I really cannot put a lot of stuff in it. So compared to this one, I really think this is much better value. Of course, this is twice as much compared to the price. But you think about it, you can use this for many, many years to come. So 
once again, you just want to get something affordable, practical, and not regret it for like another six months or a year to come. So this is the one uh, by Gucci. It's called Super Mini, highly recommended and most affordable. So if you're still thinking about it, you need to act fast. Okay, so the next one is the last one on my list. It is by Dior. And let me tell you, Dior bags are gorgeous, most elegant ever. However, the price point is up there and sometimes you wonder, such a beautiful bag, why the resale value is so poor? I don't know, I really don't know. That is why I went to the secondary market. I got not just one, but two, this Lady Dior. And beautiful, beautiful Lady Dior. I have one in black and one in beige. Let me get that for you right here. And I even added a pearl strap right here. To me, I think Lady Dior is the most elegant handbag that you can get. However, may not be the most versatile is because the style, I mean, once you wear, when you wear this Lady Dior, people immediately identify that's Lady Dior. However, I really think if you can get one from the secondary market before the price even increase again, you really need to, because I think this is a forever bag. I mean, this is still popular since early 90s and still very popular up until now. And they came out with a different style like the ABC Dior, Sarah has one, but I still like to go for the traditional uh, Lady Dior like this one. I really just think that this will never go out of style and it's one of the permanent, most elegant handbag that you can find. And I got these two about a year and a half ago, maybe time just fly. I lost track of it, but around that time. And I have noticed a year gone by, the, the secondary market price also went up. So, you know, if this is something you like to add it to your collection, you really need to start thinking about, you know, getting it. So this is one of the items I still think worth getting because it will never go out of style because this is just such an elegant bag that, any woman should have. Okay, so let me know in a comment below if you agree with me which bag that I talk about in this video that it's your favorite, it's your wish list bag. So I would love to hear from you guys. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a like. It really means a lot to me and I will see you guys in my next one.